Hi darlings, this is Christina and today I have a box full of Sephora goodies um, that I purchased during the Sephora sale that I want to share with you. We're going to be doing kind of a swatch and sip situation since I have my delicious peach Bellini drink with me. Mixed with a little bit of Malibu rum. This is Wilson's Creek by the way. It is so good. You can get it at Target. It's tasty. So darlings, if you're interested, just keep watching and let's get into it. So I already did my face. I did a previous video, which will come out after this. Um, so if you're interested in anything I have on my face, please look at the links down below. I'm not going to put any of these things on my face today. I will be doing that in future videos, but for now, we're just going to swatch. We're going to play with the makeup. I'm going to show you the tones and different things that I just select. All right, I want to show you up here um, a few things that haven't shown up yet. I did purchase the Volume Spa Tropical Oasis Candle Set. Lately, I've been all into my candle mode. If you see this here, I do love candles and I'm starting to love them even more. I've been trying to really embrace them in like my morning routine, like when I'm getting ready and for work in the morning, I'll put a candle on. I actually got this idea from Duzan Hendrix, who she and her husband Stevie are so darn cute. I've been following them for years. They're an adorable couple. She was actually one of the original like a youtuber um, women who I used to watch and I just enjoyed her content she's gorgeous and she's got a beautiful personality a beautiful family they make most gorgeous couple and um, anyway in her new book which I purchased which I'll show here a good a real good life she was talking about how she set the tone with different um, candles in the morning as she just did her morning meditations and things and just set her mood and I thought you know what I want to do that too so I actually got this volume spa candle some months ago not some months ago like a month ago from anthropology they were having a sale and this is in the Mediterranean lemon so first of all the packaging is gorgeous and it is oh, it smells like a Mediterranean like sea escape anyway this is not part of the Sephora sale but I thought I would talk about it because that is something that I purchased and picked up and I don't have it to show you but I have been embracing my best candle life recently so I also purchased the Prada Beauty chromatic soft matte color in Moretti is that how you pronounce it yeah Moranti and I'm hoping this color isn't too light I when I was looking at it on the website it looked like a perfect like little bit everyday neutral pink. I really love the Prada formula and I purchased CN and I'll show you up here. I did review the Prada Beauty when it originally kind of originally launched and I really love the formula but the color is just so rich reddish brown that I so I wanted to choose a color that would be more neutral that I could put a lip liner under and just play with and I feel like if I get a little lighter I can kind of at least just throw a lip liner underneath and still get the benefits of that beautiful color I also ordered the drunk elephant debronzing drops now I've been wanting these drops for a while because sometimes it's hard for me to pick colors that match my skin exactly there are a few brands that have gotten it right but overall veers a little too light so i wanted the deep bronzing drops for summertime where i can use my fall shades for summer by just adding a little color so that I also am waiting for and I also bought a Guerlain lip glow I know I can't get enough I picked up the peach orange color as well that will be coming later as well so I don't have that to show you but let's start with my non-beauty things I am a big lover of body butters and things like that and I do look at the reviews as well and I get influenced by looking for a a replacement for my glycine chardonnay body butter in cactus flower now this brand is made in california this shop is actually in dana point so it's not close to me but it's not super duper far from me either um I learned about this during covid this brand they are all natural Every single ingredient is like some type of oil extract. They're certified organic. It smells delicious. I have both of the body butters. I have the cactus flower and I have the rose and they are so luxurious, so creamy and they smell so good. But guys, the price point's high. These are about maybe 60 or 70 dollars. 
I don't think I'll stop buying these because gosh, they just, oh, they just melt into the skin. And when I'm having like a special moment or my husband and I are going out, like these are the times that I want to use these because I try to really luxuriate in them. They're for special moments that I want to create a certain mood or moment, but I wanted an everyday something. So for that, Erin Nicole talked about the Josie Moran Whip Butter Oil. I am more of a citrus type of lover of smells. Like I realize that I'm realizing my my smell palette, like what I like and what doesn't bother me. And it's usually citruses. I just love the freshness of them. And this is the original Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter in Topless Tangerine. That sounds sexy. But these are also made in the U.S. They're globally sourced. And they this brand is going to not use a lot of synthetics as well. It's also a whipped butter. And guys, it was like 30 bucks, not including my 20% off. And this has six ounces of product. So, you know, it's like double the price for a little bit less. It also feels very luxurious. It's supposed to be very nourishing to the skin. And I feel that like when I'm wearing it, um, it just feels so hydrating. And I would love to layer this underneath my sprays, like my perfumes and things. I haven't used it outside. This is my first impression of it. So I don't know how long it lasts, but I can tell you it feels really good. It feels really nourishing and I'm so into it. Next thing I purchased were a few cleaning products. Now the Sephora brand does have their brand things for 30% off. I typically just use baby wash to clean my brushes, but I thought, um, Let's try a grown up wash and see how the shampoo and nourish my brush is. Since it was, you know, very inexpensive with the Sephora cell, I thought I'd try it. So I did the deep cleaning shampoo and then the daily cleaner, which I was hoping was like a dry brush cleaner. Like you could clean it really quick and, you know, take away the, um, the color and it would dry relatively quick. I didn't find that to be true. So you do have to let it dry for a little bit. That's okay. I'm still going to try it. I'm happy about it. I also was debating on the actual beauty blender because I thought when I want to maybe press products into my skin, give myself a little more of an airbrushed look, I really wanted one. But what I liked about the Sephora brand, so it's an angled sponge. And I like that because look at this here. Let me just take this out of the box. I don't know why I'm being so special. I like it because it has this flat little portion so if i wanted to like press like this into my skin or into my eye area like you can do all that it's got such a nice contoured feel and it's very soft so i'm really excited to try this and keep this with me peach bellini time I also told you, I don't know, maybe I did say in my previous video with the actual Rare Beauty blushes, the new highlighter blushes, I was going to get the brush. I really want to try it and see how this felt. Now, I think I will show you the other color I purchased and use this brush in this video. I, I bought like a few of these Caudalie um, oil cleansing oils and I brought bought a few of the Brow Blade Urban Decay in dark drapes. I bought a few of each. Aside from that, everything else is makeup. So let me just show you then. I got the Rare Beauty um, powder blush in the color Joy, which I stated I was going to try. I love these so much. I felt like I want one more color one more neutral color. So this is Joy. Now I just have like bronzer on. And so let me just show you. I thought because it's like tapered the way it is, it would be perfect to like contour here. These are very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. But there, there we go. That's pretty. Very pretty. But do you see the difference between with the highlighter blush and just my regular bronzer. So pretty. So let me just add a little bit more. Ooh, so pretty. And see, this is the moment when like you may do too much. Like I feel like, ooh, I may have got a little crazy with this. You can go over and kind of smooth things out here with that little ankle brush. See, so it just blends everything into the skin. 
Yes, it does take off a little of the product, but like that's the intention. I'm trying to smooth and blur everything into the skin so you don't know where my skin begins and the makeup ends, right? Trying to do seamless, but that is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. So darlings, I am actually wearing this already, but I will do a dedicated review. You know the struggle has been real with my concealer. So I did pick up two concealers, so excited. I got, I purchased the new Bay Beauty Slip Tint Corrector Concealer in shade 11. And then I purchased the House Labs um, Concealer in the shade Light Neutral 13. And you guys told me to try this one, and so I'm so glad you did, but I will show you the tones. So this is shade 11 with the House Labs, and you can see it's very light, right? So technically I probably could have gone a shade maybe deeper, but I'm glad I didn't, because I actually wanted this to like highlight parts of my eyes, the darker portions, and then the Say Beauty is like my perfect tone but they're different in their formulas. The Say Beauty is very thin, very light, and the House Labs is a thicker consistency. But guys, together, it is the perfect concealer combination for me. Now, is it ridiculous to need two concealers? Maybe, but I have two mascaras that I really love, but neither one of them, oh, oh my gosh, crease under my eye they both are so hydrating thank you guys for recommending the house labs i don't know what took me so long quite honestly people had reviewed and raved about these for so long but see how when i mix it together it's a beautiful sheer look and it looks so nourishing hydrating and it actually really make, makes my under eyes not look so dark and I was noticing like in some of my videos, like my under eyes darkness was like really showing through. And I was like, what can I do? Like I need to do something. I need to find a product that I like. And this was the perfect time. Sephora was the time to try it. I'm so glad that I did guys. On to lips. I have tried these YSL lip shines before and I did not like the smell of them. They were nice. I didn't like the smell. Something about it was just so overwhelming and so unappealing to me that it I never use them I declutter them I use them like three times and I threw them away and I that's so sad because they were like $40 almost and this is new this is their new high shine caring lipstick this is the love shine YSL formula and I chose nude lingerie in 150 different but this is the new packaging the other packaging was gold um, but I really do like this color it's really pretty they still have that special smell that I'm not super fond of, but it's not as strong. So thank goodness for that. But that is nude lingerie. And I thought, you know, when I'm going for my nude moment, it's really pretty. It's not as light as you would assume. It's a perfect, like, my pink but better lip color, like gloss. Like I said, it's still got that little bit of smell, but it's not as annoying as it was to me in the past. It's a beautiful color. So I told you I was going to get another Guerlain color. I did choose just the Rose Gold, the Rose Glow Pink. I got another oil and I gotta tell you, I love it. I use this at night, my husband and me. And I told you it was just enough color, like it's barely there. So he's not gonna freak out if I put pink gloss on his lips. You know, it's just like your lip but better and it's so nourishing, so yummy. Like, ugh, I just love these and I can't get enough of them. So I had to get, you know, the orange color coming, the peach color. I'm so excited because I love them so much. Now I did also, you know, I noticed for um, work when I wear my lipsticks you can't use the oil underneath it's a little too much like if i'm going for a matte look i don't want a heavy oil look on top of my lips so erin nicole also to talked about this prada um it is a balm how cute is this right but she said it was super hydrating now she was gifted this but i was looking for something that was not and i tried like all my regular lip chapsticks and things like that but it was still too oily and it was causing the lipstick to kind of change in its type of um its formula and i just want to keep it true to the formula i just need some hydration so as you can see there's no color there but it's a nice 
it's kind of tacky, but like hydrating feeling for your lips. But I like that it was tacky versus slippery because it's gonna change how the lipstick is on the lips. So I'm very excited to start using this, especially for when I'm using a lot of my matte lipsticks. And I put it over top of um, one of my lipsticks yesterday at work and it didn't change anything. It just gave my lips some moisture and I'm so excited about that. Cheers. Now this is another formula that I love, the Christian Dior, their new formula, the matte. I purchased the color 625 Mitza. I just thought this color was so gorgeous. I needed to have it in my collection. So it's this beautiful, deep, kind of pinky purple. I know guys, I have a lot of pinky purple colors, um, but it's matted and I don't have a matted version of the pinky purple. And I just love this color. I really, truly do. It's just so pretty. And so I just can't wait to start implementing it into my, my looks. I will have to show you on a separate video using this color, but this will go beautifully like with that Guerlain palette. So sexy, so pretty with like that plum tone. I love this color. So Tom Ford collection has come out. And I have so many highlighters, guys, and their palette wasn't really speaking to me, but I'll tell you what was speaking to me. The Tom Ford Soleil Liquid Blush. Something about this was speaking to me on so many levels. First of all, I love a pH color changing lip gloss. So this is so gorgeous. Look at the packaging. Just look at this packaging. This gold with the white, and on the inside you see those beautiful shimmers of gold flex, it's stunning. I would love to just have this on my <laughs> on my vanity or at work. You know, I have my little desk and I keep all my lipsticks right next to me when I'm ready to touch up. And it's just a stunning, stunning color. So let me put this here. Now, I am will have to show you in a separate video, but this gives you like your perfect pink. And I kept like layering it and layering it and it, my lips were so, pink but in the prettiest way i was like oh this is a serious ph changing color so you're not going to see it as much here i'll show you this a little later like as we do these reviews i have a few more things to show you but guys this is gorgeous and i know i'm going to try to get this out by monday where the sephora sale actually will end after today but it's a beautiful ph color changing gloss i've never seen a color change that dramatically and that beautifully before. Last things I purchased were lip liners. I am in my lip liner heaven place. The Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. Because I need like a nudie color um, lip liner that I don't have. So I'm going to show you here. And I thought, what a pretty nude color for me. So I could use this. It's not it's not a warm brown, so it's very neutral in its tone. And I do need something like this because all my brown tones do tend to lean very warm. So I like the idea of having something very neutral. Rest of the lip liners are Sephora brand, which I told you guys I love my creme de la creme color. It's my perfect peach. But I thought, you know what, let me just try some more of these. So the first one I tried is the Rum Raisin color. And guys, like I said, these are 30% off and these are gorgeous in their formula. They're very smooth, very creamy. So Rum Raisin is a true like plummy color and I am here for it. I haven't got a chance to really use these yet. Now the next one I purchased is Rose Wine. And that's there. And this one is going to be more of a deep wine, like pink wine color. So kind of a mixture of like a purple and a pink. I know. I can't get, stay away from them, can I? And then I did purchase the color the red, which actually is a lot orangier, orangier than I anticipated it being. I thought it was actually going to be a little more red, but it does lean orange. But I'm pretty sure I'll find a good place for it. I don't really have a liner like that. And then I have purchased the nectarine color. I thought this would be so much fun for summertime. So this is the nectarine color, and I have used it. So let me. Um, this is how you bring them back out. You just retract it. You just roll it up. You don't need to sharpen these. So 
it was that fun vivid color which I already know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of so so do you see this uh, let me go back to the Tom Ford color so you see how it's changing a little but on your lips oh it is a gorgeous gorgeous color and this, that is everything I purchased um, and the things that are coming but I am very happy with everything that I selected I feel like all the things I have purchased this time around were a little smarter in my um, utilization of what I actually need versus what I want to try there is times in the Sephora sales in past that I purchase things and I don't wear them so I feel like everything I bought I bought intentionally and I'm enjoying it tell me darlings what did you purchase from the Sephora sale did you purchase anything at all um, I'm so curious to hear your thoughts and if you have any of these things that I purchased uh, tell me about it let's talk about it in the comment section once again everything I wear always is linked in the links below for your convenience but thank you darlings so much I hope you have a great day a wonderful wonderful week and I will catch you in the next one. All right, darlings.